Hey, what's going on guys? Booster Whips here. Today we're going to be installing the Lap 3 Stage 1.5 ECU tune on my Genesis G70 2022 Launch Edition. Um, as you guys know, I'm currently running JB4, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that out. Uh, one of the main reasons that I'm doing this is um, just consistency and obviously more power on it. If you guys have started with a JB4, it's a really good start point, but um, as you guys start to kind of use it more and more you kind of see the inconsistency in, in power um, so it's there's a, lot, a few lags here and there as well so it's not really consistent on the power band or when you're kind of um, you know flooring it sometimes it reacts sometimes it doesn't so it's a little bit uh, finicky there it is a really great tool to start you do get instant power as you guys saw I've got it on the dyno and I got some really good numbers. I think I was like about 414 to the wheels and uh, 472 torque to the wheels. Um, so I just went with the lap three. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot. Um, and uh, just gonna show here where, how to get it installed, where everything is located. And uh, and that's it. And then we're gonna go ahead and run some some um, logs and some runs and see how, how it performs. Um, but that will be on a separate video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, one key note, guys, that I wanted to go to get you across. If you're doing this for the very first time, this here that's located by the uh, oil uh, cap uh, adjacent to this is actually the TCU. I ended up removing this uh, by mistake, thinking it was the ECU. So it's really good to go ahead and learn a little bit. So just a side key note, uh, this is the TCU. The ECU is actually up all the way in that corner um, in the... Um, bay up there which i'll show you now all right guys as you guys notice i went ahead and i removed the cover this is being held down by three push clips which is uh, located here so you're going to go ahead and remove this cover as you guys can see i have a bunch of other extra wires here this is actually for the velosa tech uh, power switch um, that i have so it runs three wires around here so you would not have this obviously if you don't have the velosa tech but it's, there's two uh, connector plugs here which I already disconnected uh, there's one here and here is the other one so to remove this all you have to do is kind of push on this clip on opposite sides push on it until this lever comes up and you're gonna push all the way um, until this is released on both sides so once that's out you'll see the ECU there all right, guys, so I ended up doing this off camera. Again, a learning curve. Uh, what I ended up doing and struggling with, I actually ended up taking off the nuts that are on the actual ECU. You will have to do that eventually, but I ended up doing that as the first step. Uh, so that's a really a no-no. Um, you don't have to take those off just yet. Um, so what I ended up doing, I took those off and I realized that the ECU, while pushing it off of this bracket, um, can't even take it out because there's so many things being blocked here. You don't have enough space to take this out. So you actually have to remove the bracket, which is held down by two. Um, this one here that's all the way at the bottom is an actual nut. And then this one here is a screw. And this one here is another screw. It's 10 millimeter, all of them uh, with the uh, bolt head. So it's two bolts and one uh, nut at the bottom. So uh, all of them are 10 millimeter. You'll use the a socket with some extension to take this off and this whole bracket just comes off um, and then you can go ahead and take off the other uh, 10 millimeters off of the ECU take this off and put the new one on so a uh, learning curve there as well so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this put on the new one go ahead and bolt it uh, back down and then put this whole bracket in there and get the connections installed so here's the new ECU I'm gonna go ahead and tighten, tighten the four nuts. So these are the ones that you gotta remove after. Again, don't do these first like I did. And we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and put that bracket in there, um, tighten it up, and then put the two connectors on top. ECU is in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the connectors on here. So we'll grab the first one. Make sure you have the right orientation. And you're gonna push the lever until it locks. 
We'll grab the other one. Same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and push that there. And push the lever until it locks. So that's already all in. I'm gonna go ahead and organize this here. Retie wrap this again. Um, fix my wire here for the Velosa tuck. And we'll go ahead and fire it up. And then uh, that is it. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below. Um, definitely a learning curve here, like I said. So two main things. The one that's closer to the engine, that's your TCU. Um, ECU is located in this compartment here where you have to take off the cover. Um, and again, uh, key note number two is to actually remove uh, the whole ECU with the bracket using the three, um, two bolts and one, one nut down there and this whole thing comes out, facilitates the process, saves you a million times there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, boost the whips. I'm out. Have a very pleasant day and God bless.